Hey guys, this is just going to be a quick video to show you how to downgrade your BIOS if you have an Asus laptop or computer and you decided you want to upgrade your BIOS and the BIOS for some reason is giving you problems. Like me, when I upgraded my BIOS uh, yesterday, I had this Asus laptop as you can see here and the, the wallpaper is the exact model I have. I upgraded my BIOS to um, the 206. The current BIOS that I had when I originally got the laptop was 205. So I upgraded to 206, thinking that there wouldn't be a problem. But uh, as soon as I upgraded the BIOS, uh, my computer just started shutting down like random reboots and was acting slow. It was, getting, it was acting weird and it was just non stop reboots. It's giving me the blue screen and I did not know what to do so I was on Google um, searching everything I never upgraded a BIOS on any laptop I had before so I did not know what to do I found this video on YouTube where this guy showed how to downgrade the BIOS but for some reason the way he showed me how to do it didn't work for me it worked for him but it didn't work for me so I'm gonna show you um, how to do it if you have the same problem I had so what you want to do first is down download the BIOS that you want to downgrade to. So you go to the support page of um, whatever laptop model, computer model you have, and just download the, the BIOS you want to downgrade to. Right now I have the BIOS 205 file installed on my laptop, the original one that came with my laptop. But just to show you that I can downgrade, I downloaded 204. So what you want to do first is uh, just open up command prompt, just type in CMD, right click, uh, run as administrator, just click yes. <clears throat> okay, once you have that open, you want to make sure you take the BIOS file out of the zip file if you downloaded a zip file. So open up the zip file and you need this file right here. So just drag it to your desktop or uh, wherever. Once you have the BIOS file unzipped, just close that out. And now what you want to do is you should have WinFlash installed if you have an Asus laptop or computer. So just um, you got to find the folder that WinFlash is installed in. So just go to um, this PC, click on a C drive, a program files 86. Asus and then you go to WinFlash and then right here this is what the guy showed me how to do he clicked on WinFlash and dragged it over to command prompt and the path popped up for him and for some reason it doesn't pop up for me so I didn't know what to do I was stuck and I was just like messing around I was try literally tried everything so what I found out, what I can do is just uh, click on it once, click on one flash once, hold shift, then uh, right click, and then you want to go to copy as path. Once you copy as path, you want to click command prompt, and then right click, paste. And then you have the path there. But just to show you that you just can't downgrade, if you're thinking you just because I tried to do it this way and it didn't work. So if you go into WinFlash, just open it up and just try to downgrade it the regular way if you think it's gonna work. See, I have 204 open. And see the current version I have installed is 205. The one I'm trying to downgrade to is right here, which is the one I just opened, which is 204. And since it's an older version, it doesn't let me flash it. So, see how it's grayed out? It doesn't let me press anything. So, I just press exit. If you don't know which uh, BIOS version you currently have, just to be sure, just click uh, search for um, MS Info. Right there, MS Info 32. And then right here on the BIOS version slash date, right after your model number, which is, this is my model number, G751JT, it'll tell you the BIOS number right there, my, minus 205. 
So once you copy the the path over, you press space forward slash and then type in no date N O D A T E. Once that's done, press enter and then it will open up WinFlash. But this time it won't do a date check. So it won't know if you're trying to downgrade your BIOS or upgrade. It's not checking for the date. All it does is flash the BIOS that you that you want to flash. So once the BIOS program opens up, press OK. Then now when I go back to downgrade, this time it won't check the date. And it'll think that I'm upgrading. So now you can see the flash is yellow and it will let me flash if I press it. But I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to flash an older BIOS. And that's all you have to do. Just so you know, if you want to upgrade, you don't have to worry about not knowing how to downgrade, which I thought I was going to be. <laughs> I thought I was going to be stuck on our BIOS for good. But that's just the way I had to do it. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, that's all.